Hi, my name is Kevin Taylor. I believe it is now or never for Alan Chamantin to be the flag bearer of the NPP. This is with all due respect. With all due respect, I believe this will not come as a shock to most Ghanaians, especially most NPP sympathizers who agree with me that their party leadership is in disarray under the leadership of Nana Arudankwa Ekufuado. There has been undertone calls by some worried NPP faithfuls that Alan Tremantin will be the only unifying candidate who can keep the NPP party as a unified front to defeat John Dramani Mahama's NDC in the upcoming 2020 elections. Now, why do I say that? The reason is, it is because, as we speak, the leadership of the NPP party is divided, allowing tribal politics, self-interest, and corruption to take over the party to the point that the NPP is now struggling to defend itself against the systematic and unprecedented scandals under the leadership of Nana Arudankwa Ekufu Ado, the NPP as a party knows deep down that their only lifeline going into this election is to allow Alan Kojo Chermantin to lead them in the 2020 elections. Alan, who has served this party with dignity and honesty, stands tall amongst any NPP presidential candidate in every aspect. He is a selfless leader, a team player, and more especially, a unifier. Any candidate short of these qualities will write the most unsavory story in the party's election history. With all due respect, Alan over the years has shown maturity in his political career, even when some of his own party faithfuls sabotaged him and framed him as a mole. It is also a known fact that his supporters in the MPP have been sidelined for no reason, but till date, he has not shown any sign of anger and attitude as a divisive individual. Even though people expect Alan to rebel against his enemies in the MPP party, he still held on to help push the then candidate Nanado Dankwe Kufuado into power and even sacrificed to take up political appointment as a minister just to make sure the NPP party realized its dream without any malice. His honesty and dedication to the NPP party, both financially and technically, is a clear example of a good leader. He is the only person the NPP needs before they can face John Mahama and the NDC who have done their homework to wrestle power from this dysfunctional government filled with division, corruption and arrogance. I say this about Alan not because I hate Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, but because I want to see a strong NPP party for this country. Since Nana was sworn into office as president, he has shown how petty he can be as a leader. He picks grudges unnecessarily with individuals in the MPP who were the main actors in his victory in 2016. Nanado now believes his family and friends' interests are more important than the collective interests of the NPP. The NPP have to understand that making Alan Kojo Chermantin their flag bearer does not mean there will be changes in the party's policies or the government policies. What this change will do is to help unify or unite the party and make it a more formidable force to stay in power for years. But without that, they should count themselves in opposition coming 2021. With all due respect, my advice to Alan Kudrichamantin and the MPP is that it is now or never because their opponents, the NDC, are thirsty for power and will do everything to wrestle for power. If history reminds us the only time a party has won convincingly in a general election is when they go into an election as a team, not as a divided front. And from what I see in the NPP now, the division in the leadership could be the poison in a sweet wine that will destroy, the, will destroy them. I know that Alan Kojo Chermantin or Alan Cash is a man of integrity, an honest party follower, a selfless individual, a unifier, and most of all, a trustworthy politician. 
if he's made the flag bearer of the NPP come 2020, victory will be an easy reach. My only advice to Alan and the NPP is simple. It is actually a wise saying, and I quote, There are three signs of a hypocrite. When he speaks, he lies. When he makes a promise, he breaks it. And when he is trusted, he betrays his trust. End of quote. The NPP can choose to keep Nanado and lose 2020 with a divided front or give Alan Kodot Chermantin a chance and have a united front and still maintain power for years. Because in life, the most urgent alarms are the ones that don't make noise. My name is Kevin Taylor and this is With All Your Respect. Thank you.